she seems fine to me. <gasps> no, that is not fine. That is terrifying. Your baby, it has red eyes. Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to a Gacha Life mini movie called Born With Red Eyes. How cool would it be to be born with different coloured eyes? I would absolutely love purple eyes, it would just fit my aesthetic. I can't wait to learn more about this Gacha character with red eyes, so let's get into it. Hi, my name is Ruby. Wow, Ruby, name matches the eye situation. You know, Ruby red eyes. I'm not an ordinary kid and I know that. Let's start with my story at the hospital. You're doing great, honey. The baby is about to come and don't worry, you're in great hands. You ready to meet our daughter? Of course I am. Four hours later. This poor woman has been giving birth for a long time now. I bet she's exhausted. And honestly, I think the last thing she wants to see is her baby with red eyes. Those evil little eyes staring up at her. You did great, dear. I'm just happy she's healthy. Oh no, in comes the nurse, who definitely has bad news. I mean, just look at that face. If that face doesn't scream bad news, I don't know what does. Ma'am, sir. Something is wrong with your daughter. What? Is she okay? The nurse is just walking off without telling them. What a good nurse. Oh wait, she's brought the baby and the baby is sad. Nurse, are you gonna say anything? Are you gonna tell the parents what's going on? She seems fine to me. <gasps> no, that is not fine. That is terrifying. Your baby. It has red eyes. And the nurse still didn't say anything. She's, she's gone. She never told the parents what was wrong. Why is she such a terrible nurse? You really are beautiful. Mummy, where's my new sis? Oh, don't think he likes his new sister with the red eyes. I think he's kind of scared of her. Why are her eyes red? She was born with them. Hey, little sis, I'm your big brother. All right, well, it looks like they've gone home from the hospital now. And the baby is just crying. Wow, mum looks tired. Look at those bags. Bags bigger than my supermarket shop. This is my mother, Isabel. You pooped again, kid. This is a rubber duck, Ruby. And this is my big brother, Ace. He always makes me happy and included. This is a teddy bear. This is my dad, Mitchell. He's usually at work and we don't see him often, but every now and again, he would FaceTime us and see how we are. And this is my best friend, Izzy. Okay, so it looks like her first day of school or something. Hi, mom. Her friend's gone into the class. Is she gonna go? Oh, she's gonna miss her mom. I remember the first day, leaving my parents to go to school. I'll miss you, mom. I'll be back soon. She'll be fine, Isabel. I know. Now, kids, sit in a circle. There's no spots left. You can sit next to Ruby. But she looks like a demon. Oh, poor Ruby. Nobody has pointed out her red eyes and then this little boy comes across and says that to her. Oh dear. I don't know where you got that word from. That is very naughty. I'll be speaking with your dad. Hey, mom. Yes, hon. What's a demon? Where did you hear that? A kid called me it. Let's go, Ruby. And that was the last day that I went to that school. Years later. Seriously? Obviously, they had that one incident and moved schools. That is a lot of effort. I can't believe you're both in year nine now. You'll enjoy Rockbridge High School. You'll be fine, Ruby. Let's go. I can't wait to see the school. Ruby doesn't look impressed. Nope, she's covered up her eyes. But how's she gonna see? Where'd you get that? eBay. You sure you wanna? The bus is nearly here. How is she gonna see anything with that thing over her face? She's gonna be crashing into all of the gacha boys at school. Then again, it wouldn't be a gacha story without it happening. So off she goes for her first day at high school. Hopefully everything goes okay. What locker do you have? Number 53. I got locker number 39. You'll be fine by yourself while I find my locker. Yeah. Hey, look at her. What is she wearing? Excuse me, where is classroom B10? Oh, um, over there to the left. Thanks. That was close. Hello, kids. I'm Mrs. Lilith. I'll be your English teacher. Now, can you hear me at the back? Yes. Great. Now, sorry, Ruby, but the uniform code doesn't allow things to cover faces. May I talk with you outside? If you must. Psst. 
Yes. What's with that girl, Ruby? What do you mean? You know what I mean, being all secretive and wearing that ridiculous thing. That's really none of your business. Why is she so rude against Ruby? She has no idea why she's wearing that. It's so rude to judge someone's situation without understanding it. So, um, class. This term, we will learn. Oh, well, it seems like the teacher accepted it. Can't believe how slow this day has been. What do you have next? I think it's science. I have cooking class. You'll be fine by yourself, right? You know you're not my babysitter, right? Just looking out for my bestie. I know. Well, I'm going to the bathroom. See you at lunch. This thing is uncomfortable. Oh, she's taking it off, but wait a second. Her classmate has joined her in the bathroom. Girl, she's gonna see your red eyes. I know you're there. Well, that was awkward. Can we help you? Don't worry, Cassie, that's my friend. Oh, okay. I'm Ruby, nice to meet you. Wow, she's a bit rude, isn't she? Look at that expression. It's like, I don't care who you are. So, um... Have you seen my Cupid Touch, part three, when Katie and Lucas are on the date? OMG, yes! They are so cute together. I feel like every basic person would say that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. The awkwardness during this conversation. The atmosphere, you could almost cut it with a knife. It's so incredibly awkward. I love it. So, um... What's your favorite drink? What an incredibly random question, by the way. <laughs> I really like hot chocolate. I don't. Oh my goodness, Ruby really isn't helping herself, to be honest. Way to make things even more awkward. It's not funny. She once had a full meltdown because she burnt her tongue while drinking hot chocolate. That does happen. So, Cassie, got any questions for Ruby? What's with that black thing? Oh my gosh, she really just went there, didn't she? Absolute savage. Savage. <laughs> None of your business. You tell him, Ruby. <laughs> I just think it's a little strange and odd. I cannot get over how awkward this situation is. It's so awkward. It's literally the worst. <laughs> Mind your own business, it's personal. She's a bit of a drama queen, isn't she? Look, she's been through a lot and I wouldn't talk rubbish about her in front of me. Yes, Izzy, she's standing up for her best friend. We love to see it. Hey, who's that? That's Ruby. She's in my English and PE class. She's crying. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wanna hang out with me and my friend? I am touched in this very moment. This girl is an angel. She has seen a complete stranger upset, crying her eyes out and she's gone up to her and has invited her to hang out together. That is just so sweet. Are you sure? Of course. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful moment that we're just witnessing right now. Soon, me, Dea and Ren would hang out every day and every day she's wearing that black bandage thing around her eyes how is she not sick of it yet can she even see through it like what's the deal i know she doesn't like her eye color but couldn't she just wear contact lenses wouldn't that make more sense we always played video games together and went to each other's houses we went to the shops together and soon izzy would hang out with us too but this was the day to really test our friendship oh my goodness we're gonna get some tea i can already tell there is a friendship test about to happen whatever that means is she going to reveal her eyes and are her friends going to think she's a vampire let's see you don't have to show us if you don't want to i know if i was there i would be so curious about her eyes i want to see it no i want to oh my goodness she's gonna take it off whoa she has red eyes i already knew that but i was just pretending like i was seeing it for the first time your eyes i know i was born like this why did he say that like Oh my gosh, your eyes, they're different. She's there like, I know I've had these eyes since I was born. You don't have to point it out. I love this, it's so awkward. I'm here for it. I'm sorry, I'm a freak. You're not a freak. You're beautiful and you're our best friend. Oh, Daya, what an absolute star. Honestly, Daya is the nicest girl. We all need a friend like Daya. What an actual icon. She's right, you know. We will accept you no matter what. I do have one question though. Why not try contacts? 
see Dana, Dana was thinking exactly what I thought. She's like, you could just try contact lenses. They exist. Why make yourself literally blind for the past however long when you could see with contact lenses? Doesn't make sense. They don't sit well with my eyes. So she'd rather not see. Why didn't she just say to the teacher she had something wrong with her eyes and she had to wear sunglasses? I'm completely sure they would have been okay with it. <laughs> I don't know. Gotcha logic. So I use this. We won't tell anyone. Yeah, your secret's safe with us. Hey, what's wrong? I'm just really happy to have you guys. Beautiful, what a beautiful set of friends. All of them accepting. We live for it. Anyway, guys, that was the end of today's Gacha Life mini movie. I hope you did enjoy it. If you want to watch another one of my videos, you can click here and let's go watch it together.